What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is week 109 of Xur. And Xur is located on the tower, and the hangar, somewhere over here, and we're gonna go find out what he has this week. Zer, what's up dude? Gonna do a little awkward wave at you guy. So, like always, we're gonna start with the left-hand side. We have the weapon of the week, which is the Jade Rabbit. Then we have the uh, Mechanist Trick Sleeves for the Hunter, the Stag for the Warlock, as well as the Ashen Wake for the Titan. We're gonna go ahead and start with the Jade Rabbit. Turns a perk on this is Fate of All Fools, which chain body shots to increase precision. Uh, and there's actually a little bit more to that, but it's okay. Then we have Polygonal Rifling, uh, armor piercing rounds as well as zen moment and this doesn't actually come with a catalyst but they it does have a catalyst as well as it comes with two different ornaments or uh it has two different ornaments j jester and that's what that looks like as well as raging lapis i hope i said that right Le lepus whatever it doesn't matter so if you guys don't have this go ahead and grab it it's definitely top tier in pve as well as pvp uh, probably a little bit more used in PvP, so I'm going to give it a tier 2 in PvP as well as a tier 2.5 in PvE. If you guys do not know the tier scale, I will put it down in the description box below. Next exotic is the Mechanist Trick Sleeve. In terms of perk on this is Spring Loaded uh, Mounting, which boosts sidearms, especially when you're wounded. And obviously it has uh, solar energy and you can put all these wonderful mods on it as you see fit. Now, I do not see anyone going out and say, oh my God, I get a, I have to get a Mechanist Trick Sleeves ever. So um, this really isn't that good. Sidearms are not in a good position right now as a Destiny 2 Shadow Keep. So I am probably going to rate this a tier 3.5 in PVE as well as PVP. That is not to say that sidearms don't actually get kills but in its current state sidearms are pretty much trash next we have the stag which has a perk on this is dearly departed which grants rift energy when critically wounded creates healing rift on death and that obviously helps out your uh, team and this is a void one and as the other one you can put all these wonderful mods on it if you have them I'm not a fan of the stag. A lot of people like the stag. It is more of a support exotic, but I, I'm i definitely not a fan of it. I'm probably gonna rate this at least a tier three in PVE as well as PVP, because I do feel like there are better exotics out there than the stag. So yeah, I, I'm just not a fan of it. And I don't like the stats on it at, at all either. You know, recovery is great, but this is something that you need a lot of recovery and resilience on, you know, not just recovery. So I probably would pass on this one as well. Next exotic is the Ashen Wake. And I'm already gonna tell you that this one is pretty decent because of the high discipline. Uh, and try to perk on this is bring the heat, which infused, or which gives you infused fusion grenades. And then this obviously is a solar one, which is pretty decent and you can go ahead and Pop in whatever mod you'd like if you have them. Now, I am not a fan of fusion grenades in Destiny 2. They were more valuable and potent in Destiny 1. But Ashen Wake does help, you know, your fusion grenades a little bit more. But I don't think that it's a good, um, how do you say, ratio of helping versus they, when they were in Destiny 1. So, with that said, I'm probably gonna have to say pass on all of these armor pieces this week seriously and try to get a better role somewhere else I'm probably GMC the collections if they have a better role but these uh, I'm not too fond of them go ahead and pick up the Jade Rabbit just don't worry about this next we have your consumables which is your Nightfall challenge card and then we have your invitation to the nine for which I will never pick up ever again and then last but not least, we have your Faded Engram, which will still give you Forsaken in previous exotics. It will not give you Shadow Keep exotics. However, let's go ahead and see what we get this week from Sanazer. And we get a Sunshot, which is an okay exotic, 
but I probably would have preferred an armor piece. And I already have the callus. I just gotta unlock it. And yeah, it's come with sunburn, chamber compensator, accurized rounds, sunblast, uh, textured grip. Now, a lot of people saying, uh, uh, I'm sorry, sunshot was actually gonna be a good exotic come shadow keep. I don't see people using it. Then for ornaments, we got red dwarf, and then we also got cork star. I like red dwarf better. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more Destiny 2 content, and hit the bell to turn on notifications so you don't miss it out on any new videos. If you guys would like to get a hold of me, then you can do so by joining the Red Room Discord. It's a Destiny 2 LFG community that allows other content creators and streamers to post their videos and when they go live. A link to the Discord will be in the description box below. I'm Reckless, and I will see you guys in the next video.